welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this, which is our little rainbow tree. I wanted to really showcase all the wonderful leaves we have, because we've made three, four new ones, sorry, four new ones. Plus, you may not know all the other ones we have, because we've got red, we've got maple, we've got um, autumn oak leaves, orange leaves, yellow leaves, red, amber and French vanilla leaves. These are new ones, which are called gold and purple leaves. We have our spring leaves, our green leaves, our summer adventuring leaves, we now have blue leaves, um, blue and pink leaves, purple leaves, and then our beautiful pink leaves. So wow, do we have a lot of leaves. And actually, you've also got some ivy leaves here as well. And I know we haven't got our holly leaves on this piece, but um, we do also have holly leaves as well. It's also showing brilliantly our little owl and our um, robins and our bluebirds, our little hedgehogs. Um, our colourful snail and our fantastic little mushrooms and it's just you know a piece really showcasing the bright colours of this glass this is bullseye 90 glass and how fantastic and versatile it is I also love this project because you can spin it around and it looks as good from the back as it does from the front so today I'm going to show you how to make this I cut a piece of texture to fit this frame I want it in a box frame with clear so it can be a nice piece from either side now, I started the tree already, guys, because I kind of was um, fiddling around, and now I don't really want to take it apart. But I'm basically using petrified wood. Now, I love petrified wood for trees, and I'm just going to use a bit of the... This is the bullseye um, glass tack. It's not the gel one. But this, if you kind of put it next to a piece of uh, a glass and sort of drop a bit, it goes under the glass and eventually dries, um, and will keep everything in pay place. Um, I've sort of just cut pieces of... Um, petrified wood into a tree shape. I'm not worried about it looking kind of yeah, the, whether the branches are joining or not. I just want a kind of nice tree shape. And now I'm just using some stringers to add a bit of kind of, I don't know, a bit of movement to the piece by just putting some stringers. That one's not going to work, but um, here and there on the on top of the petrified wood. It just gives a bit of extra texture. You guys know how much I love a bit of texture. Um, I don't even mind if they fall through because it's got the glass behind. It doesn't kind of matter so much. In fact, seeing that I quite like it and I might do some more that Come through. In this particular one, I want the kind of slightly less bent stringers. We did a, a series of um, tree trunks, and um, we only had a kind of a limited stock of them. If you're interested in that kind of product, please ping me a, a note, and we can always repull if it seems like a popular or product people would be interested in. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding these here and there. Gives the tree a bit more kind of liveliness. So I think that's good. Now I want to add leaves. Now guys, I have cut some of every single leaf. Now we've got some fantastic new leaves. We've got these crazy purple ones. They're going to be hard to see. And maybe if I put them like that, you'll be able to see them. Um, we've got these slightly blue and purple ones. Um, these are just kind of messing around. We've had a bit of time. These blue and purple ones actually have pink veins in them. Um, and then we've got these blue ones with kind of light blue veins. And then we've got these that were meant to be purple, but we put um, some yellow transparent, I'm just gonna try and find a better one than that, um, yellow transparent veins, and then mostly yellow and a little bit purple, but they're kind of cool as well. So those will be going on sale um, today. They might be a limited availability. We're not gonna pull all of these all the time. It's just too many leaves. Look how many leaves we've got. We've got our red ones, our orange ones, we've got our maple leaves, we've got our autumn oak, we have our yellow leaves, we have our amber and French vanilla leaves. We've got these new kind of um, yellow and purple leaves. We've got our green leaves, spring green leaves, green leaves, um, adventuring green leaves, ivy, uh, and holly it should be somewhere as well. The holly I think is over in this bowl. We've got these blue, blue purple and purple ones and our pink leaves. We've got so many leaves and I thought I'd really like to kind of showcase them in this piece where I just use all the leaves in a little kind of rainbow tree since it's our rainbow theme month. 
and make a little rainbow tree if I can get the glue to work. So I'm just going to put so each um, branch, giving them a different kind of showcasing colour of the rainbow and put these down and we can see how I get on. So you can see here I've started, I've done some of the orange here, red and orange and purple and blue um, and I'm just going to put green here and then yellow here. Um, I've added an owl already, I've got some bluebirds I want to add and some mushrooms down the bottom and I'm going to carry on doing this and we can see when it's ready to go in the film. So here it is, you can see I've added a couple of bluebirds, some robins and an owl. Um, I'm going to stick a couple of mushrooms at the bottom just to you know, continue the, the foresty theme. Um, not, not so many, just a, a few little ones. Um, I'm also, I've got acorns and I know this is, um, you know, we don't know whether this is, this is a, what kind of tree it is, but I want you to, guys to know we have acorns. I'm going to stick a couple of them on. And we also have fir cones. So on this green, a darker one, I'm going to put a couple of fir cones because it's a tree of all things beautiful of trees. If that makes any sense, it does in my head. Um, so, yeah, just put a couple of my acorns on. Um, I want to put a snail at the bottom. So I'm going to just, these are one of our multicolored snails because I feel it goes with the rainbow theme of the tree above. I'm just going to put the little snail and try and find a brown stringer to be the snail's body. And then the snail can go on like that and we have a little snail too. I mean, you could also, and I might have a look at it in a minute, just put some, well, maybe not over there, put some kind of leaves at the bottom, like they've fallen off the tree as well. Um, and have a look. So this will go in the kiln, slow tack fuse, guys. Again, lots of layers, lots going on. Need to cool it down, need to kneel it really well. So this can go in and then we can have a look what it looks like in the frame. So here it is, we've added some hedgehogs and some bits of grass and some other leaves falling and a ladybird. Because you know, I've got Marini so I can. So um, this will go in the kiln and we can see how it looks tomorrow. <laughs> So here it is out of the kiln. I'm really pleased. It's worked really well, exactly what I wanted. A really bright, colourful tree. Um, I love the little extra bits like the leaves falling and the grass and the hedgehogs um, and my mushrooms and snail. Um, it's going to go in the frame like this. I'm not worrying about putting a back piece on it because I want, um, I want the whole piece to be see-through so that you can sort of um, see it from both sides. So you can see it from this side and from this side and it's a sort of piece that can stand up on its own in the kiln and see through it and even if you happen to see it from the back um, it still looks good and particularly our owl and hedgehogs look kind of fantastic from the back area so it's it works really well from both sides and I think it's a really clever thing to do which is to do box use box frames and use the tector or transparent clear glass um, in them so you can have them as a kind of 3D picture, really. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like it, share it, do all the things that help us out so we can afford to keep on making fantastic YouTube videos. Also, check out our website, www.tabthisglassemporium.com, and we have some amazing glass inclusions there, including all of these and many, many more. So please check that out. See you next time. Flowers in my garden Never looked as bright as day Like a happy child of work